Yo, Snake. Looking good today. Draven. What do you want? That's cold, man. And here I was about to tell my very best customer about face camo. Face camo? That camo skull cap you just picked up from Tentacle's shell. It utilizes the same kind of technology as your Octo camo suit. Using the two together can get you even better results. I'd hang on to it if I was you. Doesn't fit. It's not my size or shape. Yeah. Looks like it could use a bit of tailoring before you can sport it. Not my line of work, but... Ain't you got a buddy who specializes in that kind of thing? Hmm. Somebody's done their homework. Hey, is my job. Is that the real reason you injected me with those nanomachines? To spy on me? I prefer the term customer data management myself. Driven. Relax. It's strictly confidential. I ain't gonna share it with anybody. Then what did you mix a virus in with the nanomachines for? Virus? A certain virus was detected in my body. Are you saying it wasn't in the nanomachines you injected? Look, you do know there are other folks who could have done this to you. And besides, what would I gain from infecting you? Better for me that you're out there kicking ass on the battlefield. I was watching you, Snake. You're a real piece of work. Never thought I'd meet the man who could take down Laughing Octopus single-handedly. <sighs> she just kept on laughing. Now, why do you suppose that is? <sighs> Something in her past. You got it. She's from a village in Scandinavia. Little seaside hamlet known to all the locals as the Devil's Village. Place wasn't known for devils, though. It was known for octopus. See, this was one of the few places in Europe where they ate octopus customarily. Anyway, there's this cult of crazies who for some reason hate the village with a passion. Then, when she was just a teenager, things get bad. These nutcases get their hands on some weapons and attack the village. Overnight, her sleepy little fishing town becomes a war zone. They round up all the villagers and execute them one by one. Except for that girl. They had something else planned for her. Something a whole lot worse than dying. Calling her the devil's child, they forced her to do the kind of thing you'd expect from one of Lucifer's own. After they made her torture her family and friends, they made her kill them. The whole time they were forcing her to laugh, howl like some sort of demon. Like she was enjoying it. What was she gonna do? Say no? They'd kill her, too. So she let fear take control and did exactly as they told her. She butchered the bodies of the ones she loved and laughed while she did it. And as she bathed in their blood, it gradually turned from deep red to jet black. To her, it looked like the ink of an octopus. The experience scarred her deep. Ever since then, she hasn't stopped laughing. Only... That ain't really laughter. Why are you telling me this? You expect me to feel sorry for her? Nah. I know you got no room for that stuff in your world. And besides, this is war. Right? In a way, though, I guess it was the right thing to do. What was? Fighting you cleansed her mind. All right, enough chit-chat. There's other beasts out there in them woods. Watch your back. Yeah. 
Snake, have you lost sight of the target? Whenever something moves, it leaves a trail behind. Track and find Naomi's trail. I'm not like Big Boss. Tracking isn't my strongest suit. When did you get so good at it? After saving Sunny, I drifted around the globe. In Alaska, a tribal elder taught me some scouting techniques. Drifted? You never went back to see Rose? Rose? She doesn't exist. No. Rose and I live in different worlds, different times. Her world has no place for someone like me. My place is here on the battlefield. Huh. Listen, Snake. Scouting is based on the principles of hunting. There are two fundamentals. Awareness and tracking. Awareness? Awareness refers to locating a trail by paying careful attention to your surroundings. Tracking means to follow that trail. Your target's trail could be footprints, a branch they broke along the way, bent grass trampled underfoot. You need to feel for clues using all your senses. Sound, smell, touch, the direction of the wind. Watch how the animals move. Listen for unusual bird calls. These are signs that someone may be disrupting the environment nearby. You sound like a ninja. Exactly. Ninja are the ultimate scouts. If your enemy is a skilled scout, they'll be doing the same thing. You may be the hunter, but you are also the hunted. To avoid enemy detection, move slowly, little by little. Don't disturb the air around you. Try to make as little noise as possible. Your pursuers will be doing the same, trying to sneak up on you without a sound. If you can't pick up the trail with your naked eye, switch the solid eye to infrared mode. That will enable you to see Naomi's footprints and any enemies lying in ambush. Switch the solid eye to infrared. Got it. But the sound it makes while engaged could end up giving your position away. So don't leave it on for too long. All right. Listen to your heart. Trust your senses as much as you can. And you will find Naomi's trail. I'll give it a shot.